Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to 60 Degree Tuesday, the 11th of July. Looks like it's a little brighter skies today than what it was yesterday. I think it's supposed to be kind of the same. I guess while I was listening to Portland weather when I was getting my apple cider and Kelly's coffee yesterday at work, and and uh, they're saying that next week, and at least in the Portland area, the temperature's going to drastically go up again so who knows what that means may not mean any for thing for us up here but portland weather is pretty much the same thing as vancouver weather since it's a rock's throw away from us but I do see definitely some blue skies I'm loving it all right let's start off with tuesday just a peaceful morning the old try hey that tech equipment that's who always drops off bmws I'll see you at work here in a little bit. <laughs> That's a company that BMW uses that send all the all the BMWs come from them. Never seen it come any other way. It's quiet and peaceful. There's something just right about truck stops. Where kids were, you know, family always traveling, always on road trips. Family road trips, see grandparents, aunts, uncles, whatever, you know. We always stop the truck stops. And that's usually where we're stopping eight, too, was the restaurants at truck stops. Good old southern food. Oh, well, done. A bit different today. It's 70 and mostly sunny. It's actually very pleasing. And I don't know why the car thinks it must be 90 out there. I know, she is pummeling some cold air. Yeah, very fresh and cleansing feeling but yeah but it's kind of cool it's, <laughs> it's kind of cool well mama yes i have let's go in here and bust out a tuesday sounds like a pain all right have yourself a wonderful day you too all right love you see you bye i love you <laughs> bye, -bye now bye. check it out the cl 500 scrambler looks kind of like a dolled up 500 rebel with the high pipe and all that stuff. That's pretty cool. Got the tank pad on there. That's cool. <laughs> How about that? Wow, it's only $7,800 retail or $6,800. How about that? Just a few Tupperware pieces and she's ready to roll. Full brake flush. Had the whole front end off as you do. The rear off, coolant's flushed. Got to verify oil level tomorrow. And yeah, she's done for the most part. It's got to go upstairs and have a tire put on it though. Rear tire, and he's real close on the brake pads, but they're gonna have all that off to do the tire anyway. So I didn't adjust the belt, didn't change the pads. And, uh, that'll help their woes of doing the tire up there too. They don't pay much. But uh, yeah, there we are, done deal. That's a nice one. Ah, nothing like coming home, sitting in the evening breeze with the evening light and all the birds chirping along and hang out here at the bistro table. So I got a couple things that, uh, I got this yesterday, I got the, this last week, but um, I always run a, an extra cord not just dumping in the in the saddlebag for uh, you know charging phones, cameras, whatever. But Optimate has this one that also lights up and tells you the condition of your battery, either you know just sitting there or uh, with it running. So keep an eye eye on that. Just connects to your battery. Typical little deals. 15 amp fuse, so it actually has you know some some horsepower. Most of uh, like tender leads always have a, a five amp battery in them. This is what's really cool. This is from Trail Tech, who's uh, they're actually just right, right up the road basically from us at work. But this is, <laughs> I'm not even gonna be able to get it out. Hmm, what is that? Kind of looks like an air hose. But this reminds me, I've seen that we were selling these things Good Lord, hold on a second. Anyway, I seen that we're selling these things, and uh, they're from Trail Tech. You know that Trail Tech 
does a lot of the um, electrical stuff, like dashes and stuff like that for the Indians. In fact, we get some of their bikes in for different things. And, uh, yeah, we can't take pictures and stuff of them. <laughs> a bunch of crazy test equipment and all kinds of wild stuff on them. Those guys doing stuff. Anyway, it's USB-C rechargeable. And you have a USB-A out for uh, charging devices. But if you haven't figured out with the hose, it is... A tire pump. And you got these different, uh, yeah, the different modes. So it's like sports balls, bicycle, motorcycle, car, and then a custom one. It tells your battery when it's charging, the flashes until it's charged. And you have a one click and you got, oh, no, nope. didn't do that right. I thought you just gave it a quick push. Oh, push and hold it. They call it a lifestyle light. It's actually brighter than you think. It's got push and hold for a second. And, um, of course, fans running through. You can see the fan right at the bottom. But, of course, it's grabbing at nothing now. But I, um... Uh, when I got that thing Friday, that blue spider that with the VCM and had the drivability effort afterwards, um, I uh, I set his tires with this thing, and you know normally these spin-on things, you always lose a lot of air. It can depend on the size of your tire, uh, you know, a considerable amount. And uh, but anyway, it uh, it was quick, almost like a quick disconnect. But uh. Yeah, I set the tires on that, and they were all over the place. And I set them to it, and I verified it with my known good gauge, and it uh, worked perfect. I mean, zeroed it right in. That's pretty cool. Just tuck it all in the bag. it go along with, and you got different units. You know, you can switch switch between, and then up and down your pressure, adjust it to wherever you want. 0. 0.5 of PSI, and you got kilopascals, and bars and everything else in there too but it's long press she powers herself down that should last a while along with my other tire repair stuff i think i need thinking of the road king i need to uh well i'm gonna change i'm gonna do another sir even though it's not long ways from being due i'm gonna go ahead and do it's uh do a service on it before i go so everything's fresh and then i'm going to uh I need to flush the brake fluid because I didn't do that last year when it's, you know, second year. And, um, there was something else I was going to do to it. Whatever it was. I don't know. Oh, I need to run a USB. Um, I found these things on Amazon. The Most of the Harleys come with the USB up front. But the Road King, you know, just being an older style, it didn't have that. Like my Slim has a USB connection up there. You just plug your phone if you have it on a mount or whatever. So I'll hook one of those up as well. Up front. Charge phones, GPS, whatever. And, uh, yeah, we'll be good. Not much else to do. Low miles, the tires are in good shape. They're only three years old. That's crazy. It's been three years since I bought that thing. But, uh, anyway. What do you guys, uh, I was thinking of cruising around with something out here again today. And I was thinking the K10, I haven't pulled that out for a while. And um, so if you comment that the, one of your favorites is the, the K10 uh, high trail from Traxxas. So we'll goof around. See how that thing does in that little section I was playing around with last night. That thing's big. Let's see how she fits in there. Who knows? <laughs> but that's some cool stuff. Air compressor and just basically a usb lead with the with the ability to test the battery and oh i've got adapters to uh um i said usb because i will plug a usb dongle in this thing and um charge it so this is essentially a battery tender lead that, that tests your battery but i'm going to use it for something else so <clears throat> excuse me i'll just goof around a little bit like i did yesterday Ooh. 
I got that X motor. You got you gotta be serious with your uh, throttle control. <laughs> so I'll just goof around like I did last night. But uh try to keep the diffs unlocked. Make it as just like natural. And I'll just lock them when I have to. I love how this motor has it puts more crinkle sound that that you know, when the motor, motor pulses. <laughs> See if we can make it up that. I'm pretty sure it doesn't do with the diffs unlocked, so go ahead and lock them. And with the diffs locked, these are, that's the way the red cats and and the axles and all the stuff, other stuff I have is they're permanently locked. Even the little small TRX4M. Traxxas sent me the coolest email thing today about that thing. Wow, look at the flex that thing has on the rear. And that's those um, uh, Proline Scalar shocks. They really, with those uh, um, Yaw Racing um, Desert Eagles, or desert lizards those things really flex but I'd, I'd probably do a little more trailing than the slow stuff and it's they're a little rough for that but if you go goof around crawling man the shocks were good do a little run along the ledge here it's all just river rocks laying there at the foot of that they're fun to just goof off nothing challenging it's just fun to mess with Oh, the diff guards are good for it. It'll we'll drag right over them rocks like that. You look like you're just about to tip over there, truck. If you do, you're going to take the camera with you. Oh, it's barely clearing the camera. The lens is on the opposite side, so it may look farther away than it is. I'll try this, that, that thing with the, it's around one of those steps you put in the ground. We just had a bunch of those and just ended up back there. We, it was really open back there, but time goes by. We got that huge pile of stuff out of the tree. We need to clean that up too. But I don't think I can, I can't get over that with the Ford Bronco from last night. So I have to force a wheel to kind of ride up on one side if you guys, Realize that's what I was doing yesterday. This one, the bumper should clear. Okay, it does clear. But I don't know if it'll go with the diffs unlocked. Oh, that tire was stuck. I was going, wow, the steering's not responding very well. It wasn't at all. Yeah, it's... Well, diff diff lock problems oh we axled out on that one jeez <laughs> the weight <of> that <laughs> the weight of that thing and all the big old rubber tires and that thing makes all kinds of crazy noise See, look how bad that thing turns with the diff lock. It's locked. Yeah, not a challenge at all for this thing. I don't know if I... You want to try that right off the gate? I don't want to tip this one over. Get a little body rub there. Yeah, that truck is long. We're going to have to head up the porch here a little bit. Lose the rear end. Hmm. How do I do this without losing the rear end? We'll just do baby steps here. Oh, we got a bumper of the button. Okay, that back is coming 
up. I may be able to drive this one. Oh, the camera doesn't even see the whole truck. I'm painting the truck. Attention, let's get that front wheel over there. Can I get it over there? Ah, oh, she's, she's, she's fully chassied out underneath. She's stuck. <laughs> it's just bottoming out underneath. I could probably lay something in there to give it a, a path to go over, huh? Let's find another stick or something in there. All right, just found some old piece of wood. I just picked it up and laid it back down on the... Oh, hi, Sashi. Hi. Let's see if that'll... Uh, there's a pointy thing to the left of the wood from your view. That's liable to uh, snag something. So I thought, ah, be, just add some challenge to it. Oh yeah, this will be a cakewalk now. I'll keep that front wheel, right front wheel up on, the, on that edge. I would think it'd drop off of this. Maybe it won't. If I don't get that front wheel off, I'll tell you what it's gonna do. It's gonna land upside down. Look at that. That old K-10. Big old brute. always a joy huge joy I don't play with this thing enough because it, it, there's certain ones I cherish more I don't want to bash them at all <laughs> but uh, anyway that was fun we enjoyed it well hello there YouTube that was a nice day today got that spider well just got some body parts and stuff and I'll be done get that thing done take it for a quick test ride and um go from there to whatever's next um poor old tim down there he's uh replacing the starter clutch on a on a k1600 doing really good real good he's very meticulous he's a harley trained guy you know the harley them shops are brutal yeah. They don't mess around, <laughs> any of the big line shops. So, uh, yeah, you got to be a perfectionist, you know, plus about 10. But, yeah, he's really good with the BMWs, and he likes BMWs. He has, he's had BMW motorcycles. He's got, like, a couple of BMW cars, so he's a big fan of BMW. So he wanted to be down there, and um, he's doing good, real good. <laughs> Get all his, you know, official stuff done, and we'll be uh, off and running. With BMW, you know. But, yeah. But uh, anyway, I think on that, we're going to roll out before okay. it gets dark on us. I know. Take them dates. Shortening up quick, boy. I know. It. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Wednesday or Thursday. Heck yeah. All right. We we'll see you in the morning. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching now. Bye bye. Oh. Mm-hmm.